for you, for your class, you get your own unique blessing to fit your own unique qualities and to match what is God willing, unique times that we're living in. So here's my blessing for you. May these be the darkest times you know in your life. And may this be the common defining experience of your generation that binds you to each other and fills you with a shared and driving sense that this world is to be lived in. Um, and when the world's ready for it, go out into the world and build, create, make. Not rebuild, not recreate, not remake, because this world has never been made, it hasn't been made yet. We keep working at it generation after generation, and sometimes we get closer than others, but we've never quite gotten there yet. And, you know, in Judaism, we talk about tikkun olam, repairing the world, fixing it. And tikkun, it does mean to fix something, but there is an obscure definition that, um, that means to establish, to establish, like something that's never been made. What if tikkun olam isn't about trying to get back to something that once was, if instead it's about trying to make something that's never been? Go out and build, create, make a world that's never been before. And by the way, I don't just mean that figuratively. Go out and build real things. Build houses, buildings, organizations. Create works of art, solution to problems invent something, do something that's brand new in this world. And by the way, it's okay to make money while you're doing that. There's no shame in making money with what you do, as long as you do it fairly and honestly. And especially if while you're doing it, you're making other people's lives a little bit better and maybe even helping other people to make some money in their life too. And um, of course, uh, when you're making money, don't forget to turn around and give. Not give back, which implies that you've been taking. So don't give because you've taken. Simply give because it's the right thing to do. And that, by the way, is a good measure in all of the things that you do. Do things because they're the right thing to do. Of course, don't do things that you know are wrong. And you have to be the judge in the life that belongs to you. You have to be the one to hold yourself to your own standards. You don't have to figure it all out on your own. It won't surprise you to hear me say this, but Judaism in its teachings, its practices, it has so much to offer. It's there to guide you and remind you of the values that you want to be living by, of the standards that you want to hold yourself to. So here's a question. What does Elijah the prophet have to do with all of this? In good Jewish fashion, I'll answer with another question. Why do we sing about Elijah, Eliyahu Hanavi, at Havdalah, the end of Shabbat? So you may know, Elijah is supposed to be the advance man for the Messiah. He's supposed to come and announce the Messiah is on his way. Um, and there's also a tradition that the Messiah will not arrive on Shabbat. So every Shabbat is one more week that the Messiah didn't come. And every Havdalah ex ends with this expressing this hope that, you know what, maybe this will be the week. So in the same way that I said early on that uh, Havdalah is not for the close of Shabbat alone, it is for all the days. The Messiah didn't come in the last generation. Maybe this will be the generation when it does. It's up to you. Don't expect the Messiah to just show up and make everything wonderful. As Franz Kafka said, the Messiah will come only when he is no longer necessary. So when the world's ready, go out there, build for yourself and for others, create amazing things, make this world a place where if the Messiah did show up, we wouldn't even notice. 
because you will have already gotten us there. I know this may be a tall order, but we all know what Rabbi Tarfon said in Pirkei Avot. It's not up to you to finish the task, but neither are you free to desist from the labor. Do the work like you're going to achieve it. And however far you take us, maybe you'll be able to look back on these times, not as dark, but as just the shadow of the threshold between the past and a better world that it's in your hands to make.